What's up guys? We are at the Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital today and I'm gonna be showing you around what's inside this place. I'm super excited and uh, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Let's go. You guys are gonna be mounted right on my chest and you're gonna get photos, so I hope you enjoy. I know, you got an itch on your face? Yeah. <laughs> Can you take this hood off? Yeah. Perfect. So the <clears throat> so now the bed is fully asleep now. So while they are sitting, you can see they are very small. So when you open the wing, the wingspan compared to the body, you can see how they are weak. But this is a, like you know Saiker Falcon. This is a national bird of United Arab Emirates. If you say like you know pure GR Falcon, which one is the uh, <clears throat> which one is sitting there, the white one. If you open the wing like that, it will come almost like you know one meter to one and a half meter wingspan for the pure GR Falcon. 
So actually the owner bought this falcon, we have to do one very very small procedure. The procedure means, you know, see when you look at the talons, you can see it's very long and very sharp, as I like needle. So when you look at any wild falcon, they are not this much long and sharp. Because in the wild, they know themselves how to do this kind of things. They always keep on moving. They are going to rocks and trees, naturally they are tearing it off. But in captivity, what happens? They are sitting kind of so much, less activities. They are eating very, very so food. Always keep on growing. So we have to clip these talents at least two or three times in a year. Otherwise, what will happen? These talents are really overgrown, can twist it. They are very uncomfortable to sit properly. If it's too long and sharp like that, you know, when you close the glow, they can punch themselves, they will get some problem in the feet. So this is a common problem for the falcon in captivity. So if you get kind of problems, you know, there is a many way to treat the falcon. One of the methods what we are using here, this is the falcon shoes. It's a falcon shoes. So how we are using the shoes for the falcon? Sometimes, you know, they will get some very hard scab on the feet. So this scab can make some infection in the feet. So we have to remove this cap and we have to put some antibiotic cream powder or whatever. We cover it with the bandage and we pad it with the nicely with the cotton and we will place on the shoes like that and we cover it with the wet wrap. <laughs> so she should sit at least like you know two, three weeks time on the shoes. You can see there is a small hole is there in the pressure we will lift on there, it will heal very quickly. It's one of the methods we are using kind of problem. So to prevent that, we have to clip this talons on the leg. Same things, you know, we are doing the dogs and cats. We just uh, we just clip the talons like that. But the falcon, they need the sharp nail to grab the prey. Because our nail is growing on the leg. Falcon nail is growing around the nails. So we have to remove some extra keratin foam around. So we have to reshape it and we have to sharp it as well. So if you do kind of things, we are using kind of trim metal to make the piling. And here is a cover with the full of uh, small feather. I will turn this side. This is the ear. This is the ear. So this uh, beak also a little bit long, so I have to clip the beak also a little bit. Just with some toenail clippers? Sorry? Just toenail clippers? It's amazing. So this is a falcon hood. So when you put the like that, there is a two strip piece here. One is a long one, it's a shorter one. So long one to close it and shorter one to unlock. So when you put them like that, they can hear very well. I can work. Only thing they are sitting in the dark place. That's where they are sitting very calm and quiet. in the legs and wings so they're not able to release again at all so that's why they are going to spend all the life here with us and they keep breeding the baby of those we're going to <laughs> wow
I lived here before. She, high school here. High school. High school and college a little bit. Yeah. That's why you speak some Arabic more. All right, guys, that was the Abu Dhabi Falcon Hospital. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a Dubai POV photography video. So be sure you come back. I'll see you then. Stay strong, keep enduring, go out and go create something.